Hurrah, it has arrived. This is the Durston X Mid one person. So let's do a quick unboxing and see what it's all about. Oh, that's nice and packable that right so from what I've seen I need to set this up in like a perfect rectangle oh, brand new tent can't beat it hopefully my garden is big enough pick this bad boy out we we'll use the supplied ones. We've got four Thai V pegs and two shepherd hooks as well. Two. I'll be swapping these pegs out for my my eastern nails. Right. So that's more or less a decent rectangle. Trekking poles. What we'll do is we'll just put in, make sure that is in the little grommet. I'm always a bit paranoid about that. Put pull up. What I'll do is I'll get this bottom one locked. And then that means I just have to extend one side. That's still on the grommet. There we go. There's one side. Now that was easy. There's a rudimental pitch already, and that took me literally minutes. Triple stitch there. Optional ventilation on both sides. Just with these little Velcro tabs. And you can seal that up. The workmanship, I have to say, is Excellent, look at that. Really well stitched. Yeah, these little magnets are absolutely brilliant. Just holding that open. And then, open the nut. And they've just got ties on this side, just bungee cord. Right folks, I've got the mat in. As you can see, there's not a huge amount of room. A bit of room at the bottom of the head there. And some room at your feet. But I think the difference is, is, look at the size of the vestibule. You really get a lot in there. My rucksack will sit nicely on this side. And then your cooking set up. Pretty much go here, I reckon. Let's get in and have a look. Well, folks, I can tell you straight away the headroom is excellent. I'm five foot ten, by the way, but even still, there's lots of room in here because obviously the, the poles are diagonal opposite each other, which gives you all that room in between. So that's a massive boon. If I lie down, my garden's on a bit of a slope. Plenty of headroom. Don't feel like the inner is in your face. We'll just close this. Yeah, that is fantastic. Brilliant. Really impressed with it so far. As you can see, plenty of room for the feet. If you're a bit taller than me, there is still room down there for a bit more height. And above me, there's still plenty of room there as well. You've got a couple of pockets up here as well on either side 
Just put a phone in there. This here is a tarp tent notch. As you can see, it's quite a bit longer in its pack than the X Mid One. It's a little bit skinnier, but because of those rods at either end, you can't obviously crush that in with that one will crush in. First impressions of the Durston, really like it, cracking little tent, but the proof in the pudding is how I'll get on with it when I go well camping, so I shall bring you back then. Cheers. Finally folks, it must have been about six weeks ago that I filmed that initial garden pitch, and here I am finally out in the wilds with the Durston Exmid, and uh, for my first pitch it's not perfect. I feel if you don't get that initial sort of a rectangular pitch, it can go a little bit awry. Uh, so my inner just is sitting a little bit squint. So I do need a little bit more practice. I have noticed a slight flaw and it is fixable. The line locks are round the wrong way. So I can't tighten them, they just loosen. So what we have to do is untie the knot and then feed the hoop around the other way, tie the knot again and then it's an easy fix. I could do it tonight but I'm too hungry and tired so I can't be bothered. But anyways, I'll show you inside. So over here in this corner, you can see here I've got my cooking setup sorted out. I've already had a, a mug shot. Over to this side, I've got my rucksack sitting there, which is really good, plenty of room for it. Whereas in the scarp, I used to lean against the inner, which could be a bit annoying. And a little bit of room at my head and at my feet. This is pretty much my camp setup. Got my little orange mat, just for getting in and out of. And I've got the vents open as well. Good morning, campers. Well, that is the first night in the Durston Dunt. And first impressions is I'm really happy with it. It's a, it's a good tent. You can see here, got plenty of headroom. I didn't feel like I'm sleeping in a coffin. Maybe the mesh inner helped with that rather than a, a solid inner. But there's so much room in the vestibules that you don't feel like you've got everything crammed in with you. Um, the only negative I can really find at the moment doesn't have double zips on the fly sheet, so that would have been a nice touch. And the ground sheet feels a tad thin, so I'm kind of thinking, am I going to break with tradition and get a ground sheet for it? or a, a footprint I should say. Other than that, I can't really find much else wrong with it. Um, I sold the tarp tent notch, so I was a bit worried I might have been a bit premature selling that, but I'm not as worried now, I like this. So um, I suppose the question is, is it the scarp killer? Um, I don't think it beats the scarp per se. They're two different tents, but I'll certainly be using this a lot, lot more. It's lighter, it packs smaller and uh, I can use the scarp and when it's going to be windier or in winter so uh, I'll be keeping both tents put that way but yeah, happy